You have cancer. It's the phrase repeated in doctor's offices and discovered through x-rays and lab tests all throughout our county every day. The devastating moment when a family's life is changed forever. And as the month of October comes to a close and another year of awareness and donations are raised in the fight against breast cancer, I wanted you to meet Kelly Kimmel, a registered nurse and mother of two. Our paths crossed at a Links for Life fashion show just a few weeks ago. I was struck by her story and where she's been and the place she chooses to return to every day all in the name of giving hope to people who she can relate to on the deepest level. You want to wear it? You want to wear <laughs> Okay. On the outside, Kelly Kimmel is an ordinary single mom. Thank you. Ooh, good job. Devoted at home. There you go. Pour it in. Her kids, Mason and Macy, all the focus from the time they leave to school. We're going to make some rice. Yeah. To when dinner is served. But inside that world, I was in the best shape of my life. I, you know, worked out. I had a great career. I was your super mom, if there is such a thing. A conversation that would change everything. He looked at the papers and he looked at me and said, you have cancer. A diagnosis people hear over. You never think it's going to happen to you. And over. It's like my whole world just flipped up. Again. You're thinking, how can this happen to me? And what did I do? But it's more than circumstance that binds Kelly to these people at Bakersfield Oncology. I've been in these same chairs and that I understand exactly what it's like to have these same treatments, have these same medications and side effects. Kelly, who recently battled an aggressive form of breast cancer, is with them every step of the way. Because now instead of needing help, All right, let's get you comfortable. Kelly is the one providing help. I know how overwhelming it can be to start this kind of process. It's where 17-year-old Devin McHorse finds himself. You always think it's somebody in their 50s that gets cancer, you know? Who learned this summer would be spent in this chair. Want a heating pad? Uh, I would love a heating pad. Okay. Kelly is by his side. Uh, yes, please. Answering questions, explaining all the uncertainties Everybody here is great. that come with chemotherapy. And now we're going to start some treatment with some anti-nausea medication. It turns your world upside down. And His mom and best yeah. friend also by his side in the fight. He's my hero. I, he's, he's, he's gotten me to stay strong. And they're helping each other stay strong. No, it was really scary. For patients like Sue sitting in the corner. We just take it day by day. She has been coming here. It's no fun. For nearly five years now. You have a good spirit about you. I like to see it. <laughs> yeah. Have to. And there's Sandy, who had to put a master's program at Cal State on hold. You feel like you have no control over life or death. And When she got the news, she was starting chemotherapy today. Some days you feel good and sometimes other days you don't. But there's always someone here that feels the opposite and you kind of just, it counteracts. Talk to any of these patients and they'll tell you what should feel like hell. This is the most fantastic uh, group of nurses and doctors. Made into something brighter, more tolerable. I'll give you the bag of hydration. Truly make it seem like uh, they are as close to home as possible and get to know them and know that they're not just a number. Kelly's doctor turned colleague says it's because she gets what they're going through. Some people who may not want to have to look at this again, um, uh, but it takes a lot of courage to face everything and to know that you have been there. Um, just like people who have been through the battlefield and sometimes they don't want to go back. Pick a chair, any chair. But for her, you know, she comes back to the battlefield and to be there uh, with other people who are going through the same fight uh, and to be there for them. A nurse who is learning when you treat a person. She's had a rough, a rough go round and she comes in with just this strength of character that is so inspiring. Not just the disease. Because you guys are so great. Thank you. Cancer takes a back seat to what really matters. <laughs> We're family here. Mm. Mm. And it's really the vibe I got when I spent the, the morning there. I asked Kelly what she wants to take away from the story and what she wants people to remember. And it's simple to remember those faces you saw in the story because those are the people, and there's more of them battling cancer every day. And they all have amazing stories, and, and they're in that courageous fight. So. Yeah, a lot of courage. And, and she 